What's going on everybody? I'm Zach and welcome back to Workshop Edits. In today's project, I want to take you through how I built this six and a half foot long by three foot wide farmhouse table and a bench to go with it. Now the total project cost me about $250 in materials and it took only a single weekend to build. So it's a great project to tackle if you're looking to upgrade your dinner space in your house. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is begin breaking down this big pile of lumber that I have over at the miter saw to its rough final length, probably leaving things an inch or two long. That way, once I get all the pieces milled to their final size and the rounded edges ripped off and then planed to their final thickness, we can then cut them at their final length and start assembling things. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's do it. All right, so I just finished breaking down all of the material that's gonna make up the base of the table, as well as the base of the bench that's gonna go with it. So what I'm gonna do next is just break down both the tabletop and the bench top two by sixes to their rough length. All right, so I just finished planing all of the four by fours. And the reason that I did that was because my table saw actually doesn't have the cut capacity to cut uh, four by fours all the way through. So it was easier for me to actually plane down the wood to the right height so that now I can use the table saw. When you plane four by fours, it tends to leave them not totally square so I can take everything that I just milled up over to the table saw and it's going to give me an opportunity now to square everything up and cut each of those pieces to their exact width and height. All right so everything for the base is good to go in terms of uh, their widths and lengths. So now what I'm going to do is cut, uh, these are all the pieces that are for the base of the bench. These are for all the pieces that are for the base of the table. And I'm just going to head over to the miter saw and cut all of these to their final length. I'm just going to use stop blocks uh, for each of them so that each of these pieces is the exact same one. And then we can assemble the base and move on to the top. So let's do that. All right, so everything is cut to its final length, including these two by four pieces that I also milled up. These are going to uh, connect the tops of the legs and sit right underneath the table. So um, just extra support. So the way that I'm gonna start by assembling this is do each set of legs first, and I'm gonna use glue and clamps to hold those together. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add some screws and countersink them and then plug them up with dowels so it looks really clean. All right, all four of the legs are now curing, so I'm gonna wait for that glue to dry so I can go back and add screws. In the meantime, I'm gonna start milling up the lumber that I already cut to length for the tabletop. These are two by sixes, so they're five and a half inches wide, and I want my final tabletop to be 35 inches wide, and I wanna get rid of those rounded edges just because aesthetically, I think it'll look better for this table in particular. So I set the table saw at five and a quarter. I'm gonna run all the pieces of wood through it, including the top of the bench. And then I'm gonna set the fence at five inches and run the other side through it, get rid of those rounded edges, and then we can actually start assembling this thing. So let's do it. All right, so just to catch you guys up on what I just finished doing, all of the bench top and tabletop pieces are ripped to their proper width. I also sent them through the planer on each side just to clean them up a little bit and make them a little bit thinner. Now what I'm gonna do is, I've got them all right here, I'm gonna lay them out, make sure that I have all of the best faces facing upwards, mark those, and then I'm gonna drill pocket holes for all of them and then we can assemble both the top of the bench and the tabletop using glue and pocket hole screws. So we'll do that. All 
All right, just to quickly walk you through the way I'm assembling this, I've found in the past that it's easier to do tabletop assemblies two boards at a time. So all I'm doing is just adding single line of glue just for a little bit of extra strength. You really don't need it. Then flipping the pieces on their side and then using a single clamp to bring them together. And then I'm pushing down on the boards just to make sure that they're totally flat. Because I plan them, I know that they're all the same thickness. So if I have them both pressed down on this, uh, on my outfeed table, which is flat for the most part, as far as I can tell, um, I know that the other side, which is the tabletop, is gonna be nice and flat. And so then once I have all these two sets of panels pulled together, I'm just gonna use a bigger clamp, bring them in, and then combine all of the pieces into one larger one. All right, so the tabletop and the bench top are all assembled and good to go. I'm just gonna wait to cut them to their final length uh, once I have the base for both of them assembled. So speaking of, now that those have been curing for a couple of hours, I'm going to add the long stretchers and kind of bring everything together. Let that sit and cure probably overnight, uh, glue wise, and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and add screws to reinforce everything and then plug those up with the dowels that I talked about earlier. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it is the next day. All of the glue ups for the bases uh, have been curing up overnight. So now what I'm gonna do is go back and I'm gonna reinforce all of these joints with some three and a half inch wood screws. And I'm gonna countersink them so that I can go back and then plug them up with this oak dowel. And I think it's gonna look really good. So we're just gonna go around to each of those joints, do them one at a time, and uh, then we can kind of fully sand down and assemble the table. So let's get started. All right, so just to bring you up to speed on everything that you've seen that I've done, I sanded down both the tabletop and the bench top using 80 grit on the orbital sander and then 120 grit with hand sanding. I also broke the edges. This is a table that's gonna be for a family with small children, so just getting rid of those sharp edges that are left from the table saw is a good idea, makes it safer, and it also, to me, is actually a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, so that's done. I also did the same 120 grit hand sanding on all of the edges of the base for the table and the bench. I used the orbital sander to flatten out and smooth out any of the dowel plugs. Those look really, really good. And then the last thing I did was just on the base of the table and the bench, I used a chamfer bit to add just a bit of a bevel on the bottom of all of the legs. I think it just aesthetically looks nicer. Each of the legs is gonna have uh, some leveling feet on it, even though these appear to be super flat and there's no wiggle to it. It's just gonna help protect the floor, especially with little kids. The bench is gonna move a lot. The table's probably gonna shift around a lot. So it's just gonna protect them. So that's pretty much everything for the build. The last thing I'm gonna do is just clean everything off with some compressed air. And then I'm going to drill out some holes on the underside of the top of the table and the bench for some screws that are gonna be countersunk in. And then that's gonna allow the tabletop and the bench top to attach to them and wiggle around with wood movement and all that stuff. And then we're gonna call this project done. So let's go ahead and do that. All 
All right, so that is gonna wrap it up for this project. Now you probably noticed that the table itself is actually not finished. I didn't put a stain on it or any sort of protective finish. And the reason is this table is actually for my family and they wanted to see the final table in its raw form in their space so that they could figure out on the spot what stain and finish they wanted to put on it. I think it's a better solution than trying to guess to figure out what's gonna fit their space better. So we're gonna be delivering this table to them in a few weeks when we see them. They're super excited about it. I'm really happy with how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it provided you some inspiration in case you're looking to tackle a project like this uh, in the near or long term. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, would love it if you would subscribe to the channel for future projects. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.